Greetings from Appomattox Courthouse National Historical Park. Our first stop takes us to Grant's headquarters. Over here in this field, you'll see in a moment, is some of the last uh, marches and battles um, that occurred during the Civil War period. Just not long ago, there was the Battle of Appomattox Station. We come over here to this next sign. Uh, we can see the journey that the soldiers took from east to west to Appomattox. And I was actually on this high bridge the other day. I didn't know the soldiers actually crossed there. Very interesting. Hmm. Here's another look at the field on this day. Not the sunniest day, but beats rain. And then this last plaque right here talks of a message of peace. And then hopefully I'll get to see it in person, but here's a rough copy of the uh, message of peace, the surrender. Next, we have the North Carolina Monument. In the far distance, you'll see an obelisk out there. That belongs to the Rain family, who I think lived on this area of the battlefield during the time. If we come over here, uh, we have a little uh, You Are Here map. Obviously, we're right there. I'm gonna take this little orange loop here to the monument. And then we'll come over here to the historic village. That's really the meat of the park. And then if we have some time, I'll uh, go up here to Lee's headquarters. I'd like to see that. Give you an idea. It's a very short walk, not really long at all. Um, here's another close-up view of the rain obelisk. And then the park encompasses uh, Grant's Approach and the South Side Connector Trail. Pretty cool if you have the time for that. So the monument itself, we can get some information right here. It says about 3,000 spectators along with the North Carolina Civil War veterans dedicated the only battlefield monument that is now part of Appomattox Park. Hmm. Governor Andrew Jackson Montague of Virginia and Governor Glenn of North Carolina were on hand and they participated in the battle actually 40 years earlier. Wow. Hmm. Monument was designed, quarried, there's a word, uh, and sculpted by, of course, North Carolinans. Hmm. Okay. Looks like here's a really nice image of all the workers who lended their hands in erecting the monument. Wow. Pretty cool. All right. Well, if we go this way, we can see that it's actually, once again, really close by. <laughs> well, that's, ain't that the truth. It is a terrible thing to be killed on the last day of the war. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. Now, I couldn't really find any information as to why um, this was the exact spot for this uh, monument here. Um, it looks like the trail does continue in this direction. Please note that this area is under video surveillance. Just watch out for that. I know the other time we spotted a trail cam, maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, there it is, right up there. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I get better and better every day with finding those cams. Looks like we have some names here. Hmm. Hattiesburg and Chickamauga mentioned there, wow. All right, last at Appomattox. Hmm. 
says that this place, the North Carolina Brigade, uh, fired the last volley of April, 1865. Wow. Hmm. This stone is erected by the authority of the General Assembly of North Carolina in grateful and perpetual memory of the valor, endurance, and patriotism of her sons who followed with unshaken fidelity with fortunes, excuse me, fidelity the fortunes of the Confederacy to this closing scene, faithful to the end. Wow, those are some powerful words. Here's, here's something you probably won't see too much more of in the near future. It says white population and military population. Hmm. Definitely won't see that nowadays. Oh, they even include died from disease and wounds. That's actually pretty cool. And I say that in a logistical perspective, of course, that they have all these numbers. Okay, so now I am at the Confederate Cemetery. Um, this is the other side of Route 24. There's the rain obelisk once again. And this giant tree, holy cow. Oh, I think it's an oak, but huge, man. I'm always a sucker for big trees, so um, I wonder if they have a photo of this tree, um, you know, 100 some years ago, and if it was still here or how how uh, younger it must have looked. It probably didn't change very much. Okay, so here is a map. Well, not exactly that one, but here's a map of the old Affomatics Village. We have the visitor center right here. The McLean House, where the surrender was taken. Um, we also have some law offices, some uh, slave quarters, and even the county jail. Check that out. Hmm. Also, we have over here the Isbell House, the Smoke House, Mariah Wright House, and much other buildings along the way. Okay, so here is the visitor center slash courthouse. Here is, I guess, the general merchandise. Huh. Okay. really cool to see these uh, buildings preserved in time. It says F. Meeks. Looks like we can't really see much too far in the house inside, but we do see a lot of relics, and that's pretty cool. Uh, buy your molasses. front entrance as well. So if we go down here, we can sort of get an idea of what it looks like from the inside. Here's a really good rendering of it, the surrender as it's called. There's a modern picture of the room in nice uh, panorama form. Oh, now this is cool. A sketch of the surrender. Check that out. Now, I don't think these are their actual signatures. It looks like the handwriting um, is done by a Mr. Parker. That's awesome. Wow. I like this a lot. Okay, now the question is, oh, looks like we can go inside. 
Now, since this is a federal property, you do need to wear a mask. At least this time. Okay, mask on. In we go. Hey. Hello. Welcome to the McLean House. Hi. Hey, thank you very much. This is the parlor here where it all happens. April 9th, 1865. Right. Cool. Uh, feel free to take photos in there. It is kind of dark, so uh, flashes are totally fine. Okay. Tables are exact replicas. Awesome. We sat at the marble table, Brent at the wooden table, and the original pieces of the two bases on the mantle and the couch on the right. <laughs> when you're done here, you'll continue downstairs, exit out back. Let me know if you have any questions. Take as many photos. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Glad I can be here today. Glad you could make it. <laughs> Some old papers right there. I do have a strange question. Mm -hmm. Since the surrender was signed in April, what was the weather like it at that time? It was pretty much what you see out here today. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, wet, rainy, yeah. foggy, okay. um, so on. Gotcha, mm -hmm. all right. And uh, what's, what's upstairs? Two bedrooms are upstairs for okay. the McLean children. Okay, that's right, this was a family house, mm -hmm. right? Yep, okay. family home of McLean's. Yeah. Um, the master bedrooms here on the main floor downstairs and okay. I read that it still belongs to the McLean family or does it belong to a National Park Service? No, it's now? part of the National Park Service. Oh, it's Service. part of the National Park yeah, Service. Okay. It was built in 1967 and moved away. It belonged to the Ragland's then. Huh. And then it was purchased by a Civil War veteran named uh, Marvin Dunlap. Um, and then uh, it is acquired by the Park Service. It becomes a National Monument that's called the site in the 1930s. And then. Mm. A National Historical Park by 1954. So. Okay. Um, it is Park Service. Awesome. Yeah, I'm sort of one of those people who just likes to see all the National mm -hmm. Park Service lands. There's a lot. Uh -huh. a lot there. <laughs> yeah, there sure is. I'm grateful I've seen a bunch already. Mm hmm. Have you always been at this site or have you traveled at all to no, other sites? Um, I've, uh, this has uh, been here for about two and a half years. Okay. Now, um, and yeah. A, a few other sites around the country. Awesome, yeah. Mm -hmm. Any any personal favorites? No, no. they're all different, so <laughs> yeah. we all something different, so I like them all differently in different ways. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, I guess we exit yep, yeah, down exit below. Yep, back stairs and then exit out back. All right, well, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Oh, yeah. Huh. That's just a uh, family seal. Oh, literally, seals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so this looks like the kitchen. Yes, the dining room. How cool is that? Look at that. Man, those are some small chairs. Wow. Look at that old bench. That's awesome. That uh, must be the McLeans up there on the walls. Some excellent portraits, too, of uh, President Washington. Mm. Oh man, it looks like they're getting ready for a Thanksgiving meal. I see a chicken or a turkey, a ham, some biscuits. Oh, it's too bad that food's not real. I'm hungry. Well, wait a minute. That's not supposed to be here. Here's a look inside one of the rooms. We can see it's really just 
a box basically just a big uh square beds fireplace which is actually nice to see um, a wardrobe some chairs some playing cards that's cool hmm. no video games then oh my favorite an outhouse <laughs> gotta have one of those uh, no doubt about that looks like here we have I guess a bigger room maybe for the families hmm. pretty impressive here's one last look at the McLean house Looks like upstairs has a balcony you can stand on too. That's pretty nice. I wonder why, maybe we should have to ranger that. Why the, the clean house was chosen for the surrender and not the courthouse. Hmm. Let's go find out. Hey, I've got another question for you. Um, why was this house chosen as the surrender site versus uh, the courthouse? Well, this is chosen by Lieutenant Colonel Charles Marshall, Lee's aide de camp. He is sent to the village to find a suitable place. Okay. Um, the only person really out about at that point is McLean, and so they get to talking. Um, McLean will give him a few, uh, uh, offer a few suggestions. Well, the courthouse is actually closed up at that point in time. Okay. Um, it's, uh, the, the county clerk is miles away with the keys, and it's also Palm Sunday. Ah, okay. Um, that, but, April, April 9th was a Sunday? Right. Interesting. Yes, yeah, okay. Palm Sunday. And so, Marshall is given a few options by McLean. Nothing is deemed suitable, so he finally offers up his parlor here, and that is what Marshall chooses. Hmm. Okay. And they set the meeting for one thirty. Gotcha. Well, thank you. That's that's uh, quite insightful. Sure. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Bye, there. All right. So here are some more buildings in the Park Service boundary. Looks like here we have some public restrooms. Always good to see. If we just peer through here. Very interesting stair design right here. Huh. I guess you can access it from the other side too. Can you? Oh, you can. Look at that. How cool is that? Hmm. Oh, looks like some uh, printing presses. That's something I haven't seen in a long time. Wow. Mm. Oh man, look at this wallpaper too. How intricate. Hmm. Hmm. Wall of soldiers. Oh, here we have some exhibits of memorabilia and relics. <laughs> Eel brick. There's a nice sword, yeah. Wow. Oh, wow, look at that canteen. How awesome is that? Wow. Uniform buttons, no way. Wow, and a ribbon. Okay, so this is the jail. Let's see what it looks like inside. Well, uh. This looks like a pretty sweet jail to me. Huh, am I missing something here? Maybe I'm at the wrong place on the map. Another similar room. Perhaps the jail is upstairs? Oh yeah, old stairs for sure. Oh, now this, okay. So I guess downstairs was the living quarters. 
and here is definitely one of the jail cells. Barred windows, wow, skinny beds. Whew. Oh, is this a trap door? Oh, check that out. Oh, how cool is that? Hmm. Pretty thick doors too. Hmm, another trap door on this side, interesting. The visitor center itself is in the courthouse here. Hmm. Hey, morning, thank you. Glad to be here. Is most of the courthouse upstairs? Yeah, well, there's exhibits here and upstairs. Okay. Uh, there's an introductory video in about 10 minutes at 10 o'clock. Okay. That gives you a nice overview of the park. Yeah. We also have a ranger talk at 9.50. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's the is just that way, so there's some benches out there. That's a really good place, too. But okay. It's self-guided, so ask us if you have any questions. We're here to help. Cool, thanks. I will. The questions never come, you know, right away, but, yep. you know, when I'm thinking one thing, it just appears. Hmm. Look at that. Oh, I get it. The dates have when they uh, made statehood. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was talking to someone the other day. Um, Idaho, for some reason, nobody knows where the name came from. You know, most states are named, yeah. you know, for some Indian or some historical reference. But, you know, I, I don't know Idaho, so. Yeah. Huh. Just a yeah. thought. <laughs> yeah. Where are you visiting from? I'm from Maryland. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I'm just checking out all the historical parks. Normally, I go to, like, the national parks. But I wanted to see something different. We're national parks. Well, uh, I'm sorry. I should mean um, like just just the physical national parks, not exactly the historic or the monuments. Oh, okay. But but I'm trying to branch out, see the other stuff. Cause yeah, you're right. You guys are a park service. Yeah. Four hundred twenty-three national parks. Yeah. They're all named a little bit different. Like we're a national historical park. Right. Or yeah. National battlefield. So. Right. Yeah. And um, I started a. A YouTube channel where I film stuff like that and to bring you know more more people to places like this especially the historical stuff you know yeah. I didn't value it much back then but I do now so, every natural, every natural park has history. yeah every, you got that right every, every historical park has natural history so we definitely have a little bit of everything yeah but if you have any questions about it you can Okay, uh, maybe I might pass on that today. I got, I got somewhere to be in a little bit, but thank you. Hmm. Yeah, there's actual boots. We have our ranger park starting in a couple minutes. Out in the grove of trees, there's these benches out there if you want to check that out. Look at that. So this pretty much chronicles the major battles. You have Fort Sumter, which pretty much kicked off the war. Um, Virginia secedes, the Nassus Battle, Antietam. I was there not too long ago. That's uh, the bloodiest battle, or at least the bloodiest state in American history. Emancipation Proclamation. Uh, there's Gettysburg, another fantastic park. Pittsburgh. Siege of Petersburg. I'm not too familiar with that one. Um, so there's another election, and then Sherman's March to the Sea. That's a pretty cool story in itself. Unfortunately, Sherman's a bit of a badass, and he burns everything along with him. Oh, look at that. So number two, right there, this this uh, is a Bible. Wow. Hmm. I thought that was just like a notebook at first, like parchment. Man, oh, how do they find this stuff? This is so small. Hmm, grape shot and canisters fired. Wow. Wow, look at that. Some of the ammunition. Hmm. Wow, that's awesome. Oh wow, here's a flag 
of the Oneida, I think is how you pronounce it, of New York. Mm. Wow, that's pretty cool. Custer flag mystery, huh? Terms of surrender, that's pretty much why I'm here today. So there's Lee on the left and Grant on the right. Confederate currency, how cool is that? 